to ChiefTutor.com training videos in Chief Architect. Today we're going to be talking about attic space and how best to deal with it. Here I have a plan, a simple one-story house at the moment. And I'm going to go ahead and let's uh, put this on the screen so we can see what we're doing while we're doing it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. Okay, so just a one-story house. I'm going to go ahead and add another floor. And I'm going to drive it right off the second using all the defaults builds it on top. Then I'm going to build a roof. And I want to make sure that this wall and this wall both have gable ends. Uh, let's build a roof. Double click on the roof. Building roof planes. I'm going to make it a 15-12 pitch roof. So it's nice and tall so we can see it there. And let's go ahead and look at it in the glass view. So we can see there's a lot of wasted space in this attic. So what do we have to do to capture that space? Well, there's many ways to do this, but the easiest way is simply create a new floor once the roof is on. So the roof's on my plan, it's on the second floor, but I'm going to go ahead and create yet a third floor. Click OK, using all the defaults. It'll generate my third floor. Now it's doing something a little funky because uh, I got some crown molding. It's just throwing the crown through the roof. You don't have that. Chief always does something funky. Since I don't really need crown molding for the third floor, I'm going to go into my defaults, crown molding, just delete it right away. All that will go back. Okay, so we can see that's our space that's left from our floor joist to our ceiling height on this third floor or attic space. So it's created its own little ceiling, which you can remove, but let's just say we leave it there. And when we look at the plan on the third floor, we'll notice these dash lines that we can't select. Well, that's Chief Architect telling us that that's where it intersects the roof. So if I were to look inside the building, I could see that that's where the roof planes are coming through. See? Okay, so now we know how to build our third floor or our attic space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use interior walls and starting off of here I'm gonna go across the house like this and I'm gonna double click into this space and I'm just gonna call it attic space and we'll notice the lines go away because chief is understands this is attic space so it doesn't it assumes it's all underneath the roof so and then here on this side I'm gonna build a bedroom just a little bit beyond where it slopes down go ahead and just go right on across and then even some uh, railing wall so we can get upstairs to see it. So I'll go uh, maybe here, maybe here, maybe there. That sounds good. And uh, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Maybe create a new interior wall. Yeah, that'd probably be best. So I'm creating like a little space where I can bring my stairs up to my house. So let's do that. I'm going to go now downstairs and turning on my wall layers go to my stair tool. I'm just going to run my stair straight up to it like so. And that should work. I'm going to go into now my cross section elevation tool. And using that, I'm just going to drag it right through the middle of my stair so I can see you. there's the landing. Hits up the landing up high, which is perfect. So I just need to create uh, on the third floor a little door access. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to create a little door here. Go straight out to my uh, railing. Actually, I don't need a railing over here. It'd probably be smarter just to, yeah, just to go like that, huh? Okay, and then this I can label as a bedroom because it's now my bedroom, and here it is. And let's take a look now in the glass 3D overview, and I'll change the transparency here to 75, so we can really see what's happening. So there's the stairs going up into the space that I've built around in my attic space. So as long as you complete the circle, just like with anything in Chief, you complete the box, it'll generate the floor, the ceiling, the whole nine yards, to which you can remove and take off, and we can gather even this space up here. But that's the quickest, easiest way and safest way now we can find out what the attic space is that we want to use and attach it to it and build it. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video on attic space and how to create it here at ChiefTutor.com.